Oh, there you are, YouTube. We woke up with no power, so we can't do any of the stuff we had planned. The kids were going to decorate the lower portion of the tree. We were gonna have hot chocolate. We were gonna have Christmas music playing. None of that is possible until the power gets back on. It's been off since, I don't know, for a while. Do you, Do you love, love it? it? Yeah. <laughs> no, I love that one. Yeah, that one's a star. Oh, I like how it. Aww. <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> What's on that pillow? A tree? <laughs> you like Santa over there? Whoa. I'm holding his arm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you yeah, see the wreath? Like yeah. Why are you putting Everything's in silhouette. Because <laughs> it's Christmas time now. Yeah. Oh, it's Christmas time? Yeah. Why yeah. do you sleep under a tree? <laughs> <laughs> I want to. Are you so excited? Yeah, Fernie loves sleeping under the tree. Polar dots under it. Yeah. <laughs> You're a present. I want to put it on one minute time. Yeah, we will. Yeah. We will. When the power comes the back power on. When the power comes back on and we can turn the Christmas lights on, then you can put your ornaments yeah. on. Mommy has them all ready for you, okay? Yeah, we're going to make the perfect situation. Santa. Santa. Do you love that? What are you looking at over there? Just a nice ball ornament? I'm swinging it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Here, start right now. <laughs> Good job. One, two, three. What do you think? Oh my Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> Dancing to a little Mariah here with the uh oh what what do we see? What do we see? What are those? Are those your ornaments? <laughs> Alrighty. And then you get the entire bottom half of the tree to yourself with those ornaments. You can put all the put on You're putting your giraffe on first. And who'd you put on? Is that Belle? Awesome. Oh, who do you have there? Bobby can't walk. Noni, what's his she name? Can't walk. Who is that? I did it. You, you did, did it. it. Way to go. Way to go. Oh, I think that's, is that their first Christmas or? Well, I, think I mean, so. one of their first Christmases. Yeah. Lots of, okay. lots and lots of things to hang up here. That's your one of your here, first here. Christmas ornaments. Here now. Look at that. I find it my Oh, good job. Hung up but standing on the carpet. Here, Nelly. Nelly. See? Oh, so good. Look at it. A shirt. Oh, a shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's from Gima. A shirt. <laughs> here, hun, find another branch. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's this fine. One? Yeah. Love you this. Turn them around so we can see it. No! Oh. It's too big. It is? Too big. There you go. Here. Let me help you. This is a tricky little help. And Nona, you can come over here too and you can put some over here, sweetie. Good job. <laughs> no, no, we leave them on. Don't take them off. Uh-oh.
Look at my face though, Nona. Put your head straight and look at no straight. And do a do a real smile. Think of something really funny. Think of Moggy on roller skates wearing a tutu <laughs> eating a piece of cake. <laughs> Think of Jima swimming with a big crocodile. <laughs> Think of Daddy um, driving a train with a doggy. And to celebrate the completion of decorating the tree, hold donut it. holes. Hold ma, hold ma. You want me to hold it? Is it too dusty? Yeah. There. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun to eat dusty donuts. What is that? Cinnamon? Mm -hmm. Or what are we looking at there? Is it good? Mommy made hot chocolate for the twins. Is that so yummy? Yeah. <laughs> hot chocolate. <laughs> you love it? It is much later in the day. All of the ornaments that the kids have put up are up, and I'm gonna give a quick little preview of those, not preview, a showcase of those ornaments. Ornament placement was not the best, but they did their best and they had a lot of fun doing it. And now it's time for a Black Friday haul. Everything I purchased today, I'm gonna show it to you, so hang tight. Well, I went out to a couple places and found nothing I wanted. The first place, I think I did my Black Friday shopping a little late. I think maybe they had just carted away everything that I had intended on buying. Normally what I do is I go to Walmart and then they have like these like tiered shelves where um, the price points for these movies are based on like a sticker. It's like color coded. So like a green sticker is like the cheapest movie. It's like a dollar fifty or something like that. And then a yellow sticker is like a three dollar movie and so on and so on. But they didn't have those out. I don't know if they don't do that anymore or if I was just that late to Black Friday shopping because this was in the evening. This was around like six o'clock PM. So maybe I just missed it. But normally that's how I get a big chunk of my movie collection is from that sale. They didn't have any of that. 
that I can see anyway. If they did have it, again, like I said, they probably moved it to the back so that people couldn't keep purchasing, I guess. I don't know. I'm very confused. Maybe it's just a thing of the past. Maybe physical media sales on Black Friday are a thing of the past at Walmart. So then I went to our local disc, um, I don't know, it's called disc replay. What would you call it? Like a, like sell your movies and buy movies and games and stuff like that. So I went there and they had some deals. It was basically like a buy one, get one sort of thing. And I just, I don't know, it was almost like too overwhelming. I was like, I, too many movies, it's, you know, been picked over, so nothing's alphabetical. I didn't really have any movies in mind that I wanted other than Nomadland. I looked for Nomadland, and I should have vlogged that because I have a, a lot of stuff banked right now for a vlog where I'm looking for no, <laughs> Nomadland, hoping to find it one day. Maybe I'll never find it and never be able to use that footage. Who knows? But I asked them if they had Nomadland. They did not, so I didn't end up buying anything. I almost bought... I almost bought Welcome to Mooseport, which is Gene Hackman's last film. If you go to his filmography, the very last thing Gene Hackman made was Welcome to Mooseport. And I know, and it was only a dollar. It was only a dollar. This is his last movie, Gene Hackman, the legend, the cinematic silver screen legend. His last film was Welcome to Mooseport. And I know he's getting older. And eventually, he is going to pass away. Very soon, probably. <laughs> Sad to say. And I know Welcome to Mooseport, the very last film in his filmography, those prices are going to skyrocket. So the deal was only a dollar today. I could have bought Welcome to Mooseport for a dollar. They had three of them. And I know the day he dies, those films are just going to be like worth i don't know hundreds like probably probably something similar to what like beanie babies are worth now thousands of dollars but i i didn't do it and i, I know i'm gonna regret it and as soon as gene hackman passes away it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a day of mourning because he's gone but also because i didn't buy welcome to moose port on black friday in 2021 um i mean I, that could have been my kids like my retirement fund, my kids' college fund, maybe their kids' college fund. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's just something I'm going to have to live with, not getting welcome to Mooseport. Um, yeah, that was a... I, I don't know. I'm really regretting that. But yeah, I didn't walk away with any bits of physical media. That, again, is very odd. That's always been a tradition. I didn't do it last year because of, you know, the pandemic was a lot stronger um, we didn't really know what was going on, but a, a lot of this collection, a lot of this collection behind me comes from Black Friday shopping and a uh, pawn shop that my friend worked at. I would say that's probably the bulk of my collection came from those two places, activities, whatever. So yeah, that was my Black Friday. Oh, also, I wish I would have logged this too. I, I regret missing a lot of of uh, what happened today, but my, normally, we spend, uh, we have our Thanksgiving with my mom on Friday, and just because, like, I don't know, the family, um, you know, with, like, vaccinations, traveling, everything, we all couldn't get together, and um, so my mom just, like, came over to our place, and we ordered food out, and um, it was, it was amazing. I should have shown what I got. It was like a chicken and waffles thing with some pork belly and syrup and some sort of spiced butter and it was just so phenomenal oh and there were like hot apples or whatever I don't know what you call that on top and it was an amazing meal I've had it once before from this place and I need to um uh, and next time I go there, I gotta vlog it for you. But anyway, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this. I hope everybody uh, that went out shopping for physical media today got everything they were looking for. I should have went with a plan, and I should have went earlier. My mistake, um, one I hope not to make next year. And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.